a message for the people of Japan. You are blessed. You're an island country. You are people of the ocean. And you live by the ocean. All of us do. But it is so much more obvious to you, who are so close to the sea, with a long history of respect for life in the sea. It is that love of the ocean, the love of life, that will make the difference, not just for Japan, but for the world, going forward, to protect the ocean, to protect the source of life. We all have a chance to make a difference, and this is the time, as never before, to think about what is it going to take to restore health to places in the sea that have been damaged during the past. Knowing what we now know, knowing how important the ocean is, with every breath we take, every drop of water we drink, the ocean gives us life. It's time for us to do whatever we can to give life to the ocean to take care of the systems that take care of us. I am honored to be a guest in Japan and to meet with people there from children in schools to executives in, company, in companies, to teachers, to engineers, people on the street, to everyone. I have faith that you as you understand the nature of nature and our part in it, that you'll do what it takes. All of us need to do what we can do to use our power to leave the ocean, to leave the blue planet at least as good as we found it. And with care, we can leave the world a better place than when we arrived. Throughout the history of Japan, the ingenuity and skill and the wisdom of the people developing new technologies that have made it possible to explore the skies above, the lands around, and the depths below. I am so pleased to have had a chance to benefit from technologies developed in Japan to use the Shinkai 6500 submersible to go see what many people in Japan have not seen. The Nankai Trough, just offshore from the coast of Japan. I am a privileged individual to be able to look at the underside of Japan, what it's like in the waters around the country, not just the part that is above the ocean, but the part that's below the ocean as well. I wish everyone not just in Japan, but around the world, could benefit from these technologies to go explore the sea, to see what it takes to make this blue planet what it is. It isn't just the part that is above the ocean that makes the planet function. Of course, that's where we tend to live, most of us. But the ocean rules. The ocean generates most of the oxygen that we breathe. The ocean is home for most of life on Earth. It's where most of the water is, 97%. To the extent that we take care of the ocean, explore it, understand it, use the knowledge that we gain to have an enduring place for ourselves within the natural systems that keep us alive, we will succeed. If we don't, we will fail to be the best we can be as the wise animals, homo sapiens, the creatures that have the ability to understand and to take action that will secure a place for ourselves far into the future. I thank you, Japan, the people of Japan, past, present, and future, for doing what you have done, are doing, and will do to take care of the world that takes care of all of us.